What's up, Blue Chips? We had three trades today. Only one was for real, which was VIPS. We had two others on paper, which were APA and XNET. Let's get to it. Be real nice to see this thing get some volume and go right to 11. Would really like to see this. There we go. Crap. I thought I hit that at 95. It's all right. We're in at 92. Not going to fret over three cents. I thought it was going to shoot straight through 11, but it didn't. So that's why we jumped in there. See if we can get a drop right down to like 80. I might just take half right there. Might actually just scalp this if it goes down to 80. If we can get down in the 70s, we're just going to take it. A little bit more. Let's give us that quick flush down into the 70s. All right, we'll take half there since it wants to not give it to us. I was hoping to get that quick flush. But since we kind of got the top, now we can try to ride it back down a little bit. All right, we're just going to take it there simply because it's just feels like it's holding. Our end goal was only another six cents, uh, so no risk um, uh, or no reason to really risk uh, this thing just kind of popping back up for whatever reason and squeezing back up. So I'll be happy with that trade. That was a nice trade. I, I really wish I would have been a little bit more patient with the first cover. Well, not the cover at all. I would have hopefully got the drop with the full amount of shares, but that's a that's a pretty good trade. Yeah, see, this is, I'm not a huge fan of these. I like all, I like all-time highs, all-time lows type plays. Um, but, I mean, I guess you technically could. A lot of people actually like these better because they have more points for it to kind of bounce off of. So I'm trying to scroll out to see where this line is true. But the, these are essentially the same thing. So you would look, so 23 all the way down to 21. So we're at two points right now. So we'd be starting with 50 shares. Like just, I don't, I always play these on paper when I do. Like what kind of, we actually have a ton of volume here. So let's, let's just try this out on paper. There we go. All right, so let's sell half there. Go back. And we'd be basically looking for the exact same thing. I mean, it's like the same trade. It's just in reverse. One, 53. There we go. So there you go. So that's exactly is. I mean, look at this. Look at this chart. And then look at this chart. They look almost identical. Um, I personally am just not to the level where I feel comfortable uh, trading these just yet. But it's the same exact thing. And it came right off the scanner. Uh, marketing called it out. I looked up. It was at... Um, I think 22 on the I3, um, and that's as a $20 stock. So that's pretty impressive. That's an intense move. So we pulled it up and we got that half dollar. And I also still imply, I imply um, like other parts of other strategies, like the half dollar, whole dollar, it's always a key break, right? So as you saw, this is a pretty intense move back up. And it took all of that to get through a half dollar up here. So that's why I sold up there knowing that we were probably going to get this pullback because it took all the buying uh, pressure to get up to that point. So I'm not saying it won't consolidate here and try to go higher, but I don't really care at this point because I'm out of the trade. Ugh, and we're back. Look at Xnet. See, I told you if it went higher, it was going to want to go higher. So this is kind of an extension that you're looking for. This is something that you would look to start a little bit under for because we are pretty extended. So let's split our first entry here, right? So we're at... Just take it there just in case it doesn't want to get there. And then you put the other half of your first entry above it. So essentially, if it does go through four, you get the fill on both sides and it's not a big deal. All right, down in the 70s. I guess I should make sure I don't do anything stupid here. We'll take half there. Get rid of that. Make sure we get back over here. This is making some false wicks. 
Because that didn't get down there either. It says a 65. Is it just, are my charts just lagging that bad? Why didn't I get filled then if it went up there? I had to order at 405. I just need to click it one more time. Oh, no. We got down to the 70s, didn't we? We weren't here. Oh, there we go. There's the drop we're looking for. Follow through, follow through, follow through, follow through. There we go. Follow through, more follow through. Bouncing right off 72, huh? All right, we're just gonna take it there. We'll be happy with it. All right, traders, that was my three trades. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. Or you could show up to the live stream tonight. That's at 9.30 Eastern, Friday night live stream. We do it every Friday unless I'm away on vacation or something weird happens with the kids or I'm sick or whatever. But even if I'm sick, I'm probably going to still try to do it. But yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support. We hit over 700 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. And I'll either see you tonight. If I don't see you tonight, have a great weekend. And I'll see you Monday morning. Peace.